whether this is a vlog or not. Anyway, so a couple of weeks ago, we did a video about calibrating your power meter. And following on from that, we got like quite a few questions about, well, how do I calibrate my power meter, Chris? And look, 99% of the time, I've literally just said, well, just go and search it on Google or on YouTube and it's sure to come up how to calibrate your power meter. Well, typed in how to calibrate your Shimano power meter and discovered really there's nothing out there. So here is our attempt at, well, how to calibrate your Shimano power meter. The good thing here is that this kind of technique is pretty much how you calibrate all power meters. So just sort of bob in and out the specifics to the Shimano one and you're kind of set to go. Now, the first part of this whole equation is charging the battery. It's a bit of a croissant. Anyway, um, one of the really cool features with the Shimano Power Meter is it is a rechargeable battery, so you're not taking in and out those kind of watch clock type batteries. Only thing really then you have to do is just make sure the thing is charged, which is surprisingly not that difficult. With the power meter comes this. I have no idea what we're calling this uh, particular plug, but it is the Shimano power meter plug and it is really simple to operate. Now, just Nick, as you come into the crank set itself, you will see a little door. You open the door, you plonk him in, light goes blue. Now the light will stay blue while it is charging and when it is full, guess what? The light goes off. So blue is charging, light off, full. So if you wanna check the battery level if you're out on the road or before you go out for a ride, really simple guys. There's a little button just on that door there and you press it for a second or two, little green light comes up, which means there is 20% or more battery left. If you press that down and it went red, it means you got less than 20%, probably a good time to charge it. As far as the battery goes, guys, that's pretty much it. So your power meter is charged. Next step is the zero offset or calibration. And guys, like we mentioned in that video before, and I'll make sure that stuff's all linked below. This is really just like tearing your scales, making sure it is completely flat lined, ready to go. The procedure is normally before every ride. Guys, you've kind of got two options here. You can use the uh, head unit, so your, your bike computer head unit, or the option that I prefer, which is actually doing the calibration on the power meter itself. And on the Shimano power meter, it is a super simple two-step operation, guys. So the first thing you want to do is just make sure that your crank arm is down to six o'clock. Obviously, you are not clipped in, you're off the bike at this point. So down at six o'clock, next thing you're gonna do is press the button that we use to check the battery level. And you're gonna hold it for a couple of seconds. So you're gonna press it, hold it, two, three, a little blue light comes on, blue light goes off, and then hopefully you'll get five flashes, meaning your power meter is calibrated. If you don't get the five flashes, for example, if you get a red flash, what you might wanna try and do is just disconnect and reconnect the adapter, try the procedure again. You also might want to actually charge the power meter a bit more. Sometimes if the power meter doesn't have enough battery charge, you won't get a proper calibration. And if it's not one of those, well then you need someone more experienced than me, probably someone at a bike shop and give that a try. Finally guys, the eTube app, which is a great way of actually doing some troubleshooting. You can do a zero offset in it and you can also use it as a bike computer. Let me quickly show you how to connect the power meter to the app. Downloaded the app and you'll get this screen straight off the bat. Now two things you need to just watch at this point. The first thing, that is the initial pass key. It is six zeros. Just remember that because you will be asked to enter that. The other thing you need to do is actually activate the power meter itself. And the way to do that would just be by pressing the button that we used to check the battery level. You'll literally just press that, get the light to go green, and then you can come back to the app. So we'll do that. We'll press the button on the power meter. Light goes green. We'll come back to the app and we'll press this. You'll then be asked to choose from one of these devices. This is 
This is the Shimano power meter, 9100 as you can see. I'll select it and we'll go ahead and hopefully connect to the power meter. You'll see straight off the bat uh, a bike screen that you guys are really used to. You can go ahead and use this, but what's really useful here is you can use the zero offset in the app. So if I press the zero offset, making sure that the crank is down at the six o'clock position, it'll go and do an offset for us. Another really useful part in the app is obviously you can see the power level, the battery level of the power meter up here, but also if I go up to the top right and choose this arrow button here, you can check your firmware. Now, obviously this is really useful if there's an update available, but also if you're having problems with the unit itself, it can be useful to go into here and reinstall the firmware on the device. That'll often get rid of any bugs that might have actually happened in there. So that's it guys, that is the battery, that is the calibration and the app itself. Just remember when you are doing the zero offset to make sure you are not clipped into the pedals and the crank arm is down at the six o'clock position, Al. Uh, that's us done. As far as the performance goes, look, I will do a review on this particular parameter at some point in the future um, off the record. It just seems to work all the time, so I haven't got much to say. It just seems to work, that's good. Um, any questions, if you've got any other sort of questions about some of the kit that we're running, make sure you fire them at me and uh, we'll go from there. See you later, guys.